Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1182. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1182 to 1183, click on the link below the video. Hey, in the last video, Excel Magic Trick 1181, we saw how to count from a column of numbers when there are greater than four characters. And notice we said greater than or equal to 1,000 because the smallest number with four characters is 1,000. Then we said, hey, how do we count text items? And we did this formula using len and array operation and sum product. Now, one thing I didn't mention about this formula with len is it will actually work on numbers also, because the len function actually goes in and sees, hey, there's four characters there, there's four characters there. I could put five here, and instantly I get an updated count here. But down in the comment sections of 1181, the amazing Excel master Bill Sizzes came up with two different formulas. And guess what? Both are going to be based on just a cell with the number of characters we want. Now, for numbers, we can use count ifs. And the criteria range, we highlight all the numbers, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell, comma. And here we want to say, just as we did last time, in double quotes, greater than or equal to n double quotes, that's a comparative operator, and join it to 10 raised to the what? Well, if we did 4, that would give us 1, 0 too many. So in parentheses, we're going to say 4 minus 1. Why the minus 1? Because we already have one of the zeros right there. And that will do it. So now we have a cell not based on a number 1,000. We simply say 3 characters, and boom, instantly updates. 4, and boom, it updates. Now, one thing about array formulas that we did over here for text items is that if you have large data set array operations, and there are one, there's a function argument array operation, then there's a comparative operator that does an array operation, and then a double negative. So there's three array operations. And on big data sets, array operations take a long time to calculate. In formula jargon, you say that they're expensive. So if we can come up with a formula to count text that uses count ifs, they're almost always faster. So let's see if we can do this. And this is straight from Bill Sizzes, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace, Comma. And what do we need? We actually could just, in double quotes, put the wild cards. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, and then an asterisk. Now, in double quotes, this would work. However, it wouldn't be linked to this 4 right here. Question mark means exactly one character. Four question marks means exactly four characters. We don't care what they are. So question mark is a wild card for a single character, whereas asterisk is a wild card that says 0, 1, 2, 3, or more characters. So it's a wild card for 0 or more characters. And that'll work right there, although it's not connected. We get our correct count of 14. Now, what we want to do is use the repeat function. So I'm going to delete that, and we're going to say repeat. And repeat is great because we can repeat a certain text, double quote, question mark, double quote, comma. And how many times do we want to repeat it? Four. Close parentheses on the repeat, and then join it to the asterisk. Is that not an amazing formula? Control Enter, and totally it works. Now, it will not work on numbers because the wildcards here are for text, whereas the lens simply looks at actual number of characters. Escape, Control Z. Now, let's just run Formula Evaluator. We go up to Formula, Evaluate Formula, or Alt-MV. And we can watch this in action, Evaluate. Notice it's going to evaluate the underline, so repeat. Sure enough, we get our four question marks. Evaluate, there's our hard-coded criteria. And then evaluate, we get our 14. Now here's some notes for those wild cards. And of course, the beauty of using the repeat with these wild cards in this setup is we can come up here, change it to 3, and boom, instantly it updates. Control Z. Man, I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Bill Scissors gave us that formula and this amazing one. All right, we'll see you next trick.